Hello and a very warm welcome, to, Fish and Reptile Info. My name is Serena. I will be narrating this information, how to make your clownfish live longer. Okay, so you want to know the best way to look after your clownfish. Well this is great news that you want the best for your fishes. Firstly, it should be taken into account that clowns in the wild, have to look after themselves. Whereas, in an aquarium that keeps clownfish, their lives are totally in the hands of the keeper. You can find lots of information on the internet. However, you don't really know if they really have had experience of looking after fish, never mind clownfish. So, to put your mind at rest, the author of this book, Marine Fish and Corals for the Complete Beginner, has 45 years of caring for fish. His name is Martin Stelfox Sr. His books sell on Amazon. His experience helped him to look after a pair of clownfish that were 10 years old. Over the years, Martin has kept thousands of fish. He started in 1974 with tropical freshwater fish, then moving on to marine saltwater fish, and built numerous ponds, hence, he kept, pond fish. So, now you know about Martin's experience, let's get on. With proper care, you can expect a clownfish to live for upwards of 20 years, in an aquarium. Obviously, this depends on diet, correct water parameters and good husbandry. Research has proved, that the percular clownfish, can live a lot longer than anticipated. I believe the oldest clownfish is 41 years old. This was reported by the owner, Dudley Hartz. As for the designer clownfish, they haven't been around long enough for us to get their potential lifespan with certainty. So we will just be talking about the percular clownfish, here. Make sure, that when you purchase your fish, you acclimatize it, slowly and correctly. This will pay dividends in the long run. Don't be too eager to add your fish to the water. Take your time. One thing you can do, that will alert you to any changes with your clownfish health, is this. Study them. It's that simple. The more you watch it, the more you will get to know their personalities and behavior. This will alert you to any sign of illness. If your clownfish is captive bred, then it will not host with an anemone. If your clownfish is wild caught, then you will need to provide a nice anemone for them. You want to provide the best care because your clownfish can outlive three generations of dogs. Tips on helping longevity. These beautiful fish, are very hardy. They accept many types of food, more on food, in a minute. They are hardy, non-demanding, accept all kinds of food, and have attractive looks and behavior. These traits, made them one of the best beginner saltwater fish. Having said all that, it doesn't mean you can neglect them every now and again. The best two tips I could give you, is this. 1. To give them a stress-free environment. And 2. To give them a varied diet. Clownfish are omnivores. They will eat algae, zooplankton, worms and small crustaceans. They will eat small pieces of shrimp, smelt, and also, krill. You can provide a diversified diet, and it is very simple. You can mix frozen, live, and meaty pieces. One meal, give them mice's shrimp. The next meal give them brine shrimp. They will eat blood worms and pellet food. Ideally, they should be fed three times a day. So, we have talked about food and feeding. Now, let's talk about a stress-free environment for them. Make sure your aquarium is placed in a nice quiet place. Not near a radiator that can cause temperature fluctuations. Or near a door that bangs closed. Stress will cause a weak immune system for your fish. I can't emphasize enough how dangerous, stress is for your fish. Anything that's out of their normal environment, will stress the fish. Clownfish don't like, any sudden change in temperature. So when it's time for a water change, or, a top up, make sure the water is the same salinity and temperature, as the existing aquarium water. A good knowledge on the upkeep of your aquarium is paramount. Being able to control the parameters, in a stable manner. Choose your clownfish tank mates, very carefully. You don't want any bullies or fast swimming fish. Sexing your clownfish. All percule clownfish are born male. This is known as an, sequential hermaphrodite. The way sexing works is like this. Out of at least two clownfish, the most dominant male will change into a female. You can tell who is the female because it will be the bigger of the two. The less dominant male stays male. Here, if we stop the film, which one of our two clowns, would you say is the female? Well, if you say the top one, then you are correct. She is indeed, the female, the larger one. They then pair off. If on the sad occasion the female dies, then the next dominant male will become female. They form a very strong bond with their partners. Males attract females by biting, chasing and shaking so if you see your fish shaking, you now know why, when breeding has occurred. They clean a space on a rock surface. 
Once the area is clean, the male chases the female. This encourages the female to release the eggs, and stick them on the clean surface. The pair are very protective with the eggs. They fan them with their tail fin, this keeps the eggs oxygenated. In around 6 to 10 days, the eggs will hatch into fry. They then drift away with the plankton. Here we have a fascinating insight to the percular clownfish. In the first photo, you will see the male clearing the rock, to give the eggs a good key to adhere to. In the second photo, you can see the female lay her eggs. In the third photo, you can clearly see the egg on the rock. Clownfish spawn time is around a full moon. They can lay hundreds of eggs. The male will guard the eggs until they hatch, usually between 6 and 10 days later, and the eggs usually hatch just after dusk. Okay, let's talk about the last thing we need to keep under control. This one is diseases. The percular clown, a lot will depend on two things. The first one is, is it captive bred? The second is, is it wild caught? These two factors can play a major part. Captive bred fish are a lot more resilient. It's a sad fact that percular clowns are indeed susceptible to diseases. These can include, corrupted carrion. The cryptocarion, irritans, is a ciliate protozoan, which becomes a parasite for marine fish. The common name for this is, white spot. Another, disease is, so odinium. The odinium, is a dinoflagellate unicellular parasite, of freshwater and marine fish. The common name for this is, velvet disease. However, Brooklynella hostilis, is prevalent in wild caught. Always make captive bred fish, your first choice. I believe in prevention is better than cure. So there are a few things you can do, enrich their food, any fish food with garlic can be helpful. Other things we can do, treating with copper based products, however, never, treat a reef aquarium with copper, especially if you have invertebrates in the aquarium. So, there we have it, I hope this information is helpful to you, you're welcome to leave us a comment, we love to read them, and, we reply to every one of them more videos to follow soon, full, of information, so, please like and subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell, so you know when new information is available, thanks for watching.